Hi, Armored Pants here, and I have another tank review for you in the German line. This is the Tier 9 and the Motion, and we have a complete guide for you. Um, this is a heavy tank, and boy, is it a heavy tank. Now, let's have a look at the tech spec, as always, using Blitzhanger.com. Motion, by the way, in German means little mouse, so quite ironic, although in reality it is before the actual mouse in Tier 10, so I guess it is little mouse in that respect, although that is the only little thing about this tank, because it is a beast, it is a monster, and it is absolutely fantastic fun to play if you enjoy your heavy tanks. And I have to say, while shooting this video, I really had some monster games in this and became a real fan. I fell in love with this tank. It has a great gun, 128 millimeters. It's accurate, reliable, big alpha rolls. It's great fun, nice pen, 245. Using an APC or 311, it'll go through anything. 65 millimeters of pen on the HE, which is gonna pen all light tanks and most medium tanks, certainly from behind in the sides. Um, its DPM is not great, but we've discussed before a relative versus actual DPM. Um, before we go into that again, look, let's look at the equipment. I'm going to use refined gun and supercharged to get that muzzle velocity up to almost 1200 meters per second, which is awesome. You do not want 128 millimeter AP round coming at you with 1200 meters per second. That will definitely mess up your day. Now, we discussed relative versus actual DPM before, um, or relative versus real. So the theoretical DPM, the relative DPM they show here in these uh, charts is basically the average damage per shell multiplied by the number of shells fired per minute. But of course that assumes that all the shells go through and that's not always the case. If you've got a more accurate gun they go through more often therefore the real DPM is great and the real DPM on this is fantastic. Now this has amazing armor, it is a bounce mouse. Um, it really will just bounce shots all day long. If you're side scraping, look at this. Look at the angles that you can get when you're side scraping. It is a side scraping monster and you will be getting steel walls to beat the band. Those metals, you could set up a steel wall metal mint with this thing because you're gonna be winning those metals hand over fist. Um, it also has spaced armor as we see here, purple, uh, the purple patches. Those are covering the most of the tracks, so your modules are not so exposed. And um, if we look here at the sides, and uh, the armor is still quite thick. So even if you fire into that with a low caliber gun, like a 90 millimeter gun, which many medium tanks in tier eight, tier nine have, you will still get bounces. Look at the angles we're creating here when we're side scraping. This is the angle on a reverse side scrape. As you can see, it is fantastic. At the back here, it is vulnerable, but again, um, if you're moving around uh, angling this, you will create angles that will bounce shots. Let's look at the turret here as it moves. Look at the different angles. So when it's flat, it's not good, but as we move, we create very acute angles over 300, 350 millimeters of relative armor. Uh, so it's fantastic. Let's look at the front of the tank. Um, we can see that it is a phenomenal now it does have a rear mounted turret and so therefore there's different firing position to a normal tank so let's have a look at this this is more or less the optimal uh, position for firing as you can see as we move further out and um, we create less armor relative armor but in this position here we are creating something which is almost impossible to pen so this is more or less close to your optimal position very difficult to pen the turret and we saw looking at the sides look at that sides look at the armor that we're creating there look at that seven six hundred millimeters of relative armor nothing is going to get through that and you will see that in effect in the game that i'm going to show you look at the external modules the tracks are very well protected so you can use engine accelerator if you want to, although um, me being um, a cautious Morris, I have two repair kits uh, loaded up rather than the engine accelerator. Uh, the tank does 25 kilometers an hour, so it's faster than the VK101P, which precedes it, but it's still pretty slow. So bear in mind, you're not gonna be flying around the map or influencing the map on different sides. You are gonna be confined to a relatively small area of gameplay. 
here look at the front on armor profile of this against tier eights and tier nines it's just impenetrable against tier tens you're still going to bounce shots but look at this it's just on tier nine really that lower plate in between the tracks is the only vulnerable part front on and if you angle you will bounce shots on that as well it's saying here that it's average for front line uh, average for long range sniping etc but you will see in this game that this is actually a brilliant frontline tank it's brilliant in brawls because you're just going to be able to bounce shots if you angle correctly side scraping monster brilliant gun lots of damage very accurate very reliable and you'll see all the aspects of this tank in play in the game we're about to look at what i would say to you is um, you do need to know how to side scrape on this and you do need to angle very well when you're coming out because it is rear mounted so you have to expose more of the body of the tank as you come out to fire if you're behind cover. Therefore you really need to know how to side scrape and get the optimal angles that we just looked at when inspecting the armor. So if you do not know how to side scrape um, and you're getting this tank or you're thinking about playing it later on and you're coming up through the uh, the tech line please watch the tank destroyer guide i have on channel because that has a very simple tutorial which explains angling and side scraping very easily and i think you'll be able to follow it and learn those basics and those skills very easily so please watch that if you haven't already done so okay so we are on himmelsdorf which is a map i actually really like um uh, I'm not really quite sure why, but I really like this map. So what I decide to do is I push on, I'm gonna go front line here. I'm top tier, so why not? And I'm gonna push on to this um, rubble heaps here where I can get my gun over them, side scrape and pick off some targets, I hope. Now I am popping out here to have a look. This is not my optimal position. I'm going to assume the optimal position that we discussed uh, during the armor profile examination earlier. Now here I am. I am moving into this optimal position and bam, smash him. Move up, protect the vulnerable part of my tank while I reload. There's nothing showing except the cupola a little bit, but I'm moving backwards and forwards. The cupola is vulnerable, but I'm moving backwards and forwards. Now watch this for a shot. Now normally that would bounce um, because it's hitting a very acute angle on the uh, front armor plates of the tank. But with the pen on this gun, it just goes straight through that 34-2. Uh, um, again, I'm moving up to see if I'm gonna uh, see if I can fire. Um, nothing doing, um, but I'm backwards and forwards here. Um, uh, now what I started to do was I started to move up and take a shot here and look. Ah, I just. Um, they just the gun just barrel just moves at the last moment on me because I'm in motion, fluff that shot. Um, but there we go, one bounce of 400. Um, I decide to pull back, pull back, fire. Now that E75 caught me there because I couldn't side scrape properly. Now uh, that's the last time he gets me. Every other shot he fires bounces. So. Um, we will see that he tries to take several other shots on me and they all bounce and we'll have a look at those in details because I'm actually able to angle properly. Now, watch this, I move up, I'm creating that really, really um, thick armor, you know, 500, 600 millimeters of armor. I back up, back up, back up as his, tra as his turret traverses to get in line with me. I'm moving forward, now he has no shot. He fires anyway and we get the bounce. In actuality, the best thing that T30 did for the team was actually getting killed in that position because he creates uh, some fantastic cover for me that enables me to uh, bounce a lot of shots um, in the game. Again, we're going to see the um, uh, E75 pull out again for another shot. Before that, I actually get to clear the IS-8 here. Bam, clear him. now. Because I'm on a reload E75, he chances his arm again. But you can see I create that really acute angle that we looked at when inspecting the armor. He bounces again, it must be really frustrating for him. Smash! And I uh, clear him. So again, look at the angle here. Angling, angling, I'm not giving an end to fire at there. Bam! He's frustrated. Another 400 bounce from him. And then smash, clear him. 
and um, a big gun cleared from the other team as well. So just in the space of that um, 30 seconds of action, managed to clear the IS-8 and the E-75. Now um, this guy comes on to me here and he has a charm life. Watch this, Oof, his mate just comes out right at the right moment, saves him, bounce that shot from the IS-3. Angling again, I get hit from behind, nothing I can do about that. Um, can I get a shot on him? He does not want to hang around to see if he can, so he uh, pops off. Now I'm using the um, T30 to protect my back a little bit. Clear the Leo, trying not to panic. Um, now the IS-3 is behind me, so okay, I decide I'm going to have to face up to him. He's the immediate threat. Drop the adrenaline, push on into him, not give in the fire. Bam! Mobile side scrape. Smash into the side of him. Push onto him again, create no angle, creating no shots from creating those angles, mobile side scraping, um, bounce another shot from him, clear him, um, took one from the IS-8 hiding behind the rubble there, but I didn't really have a choice because I was uh, sort of getting surrounded there, plus I know the SU is behind me somewhere, so. but now I know exactly where both the enemies are, we've um, uh, brought that down to uh, 3v2 now. And watch this, I'm going to get Spartan Metal here. I'm going to get 24 hit points. Look at this, watch this. Bam! Look at that for a bounce. And that's what this tank can do. Just look at that. Let's just slow that down. Pop one into the top right hand corner. Bam! Back off. Back off. And look at this. Uh, let's just freeze frame that. We can see that shell trajectory just bouncing off the front of the tank. And that's what this tank can do. And if you are an inexperienced player, that is a lesson why you always move backwards after you fire. Because if I'd stayed still, I'm pretty sure that SU round would have gone through me. Game over. Um, and we may even have lost the game. So again, now I can clear him. Uh, sorry, I put one round into him, making him a one shot, which means I can clear him now next. Backing off, again using that T30. It's the best thing he could have done dying there. Uh, the best uh, support you could have given the team, clear the SU, now it's just the IS-8 left, I have over 5k of damage, um, I have 5 kills, uh, mastery badges on the card, I know, I decide not to uh, pop out now, let my teammate clear him off, um, I don't need a 6 kill, Walter Radley medal will do, and I don't need the pools medal, and that's great, I have a 5k damage, mastery badge, got the Spartan badge as well, um, and it was really just a bit of a carry for me as well. Me and the ISA did more or less everything on the team. Um, so yeah, a brilliant game. Um, really enjoyed it and I just think it showed the strengths of this tank. Um, if you play to this strength, this tank's strengths, the things it can do are awesome. Uh, and side scraping, it is a monster and will bounce shots all day long. So mastery badge, uh, top gun, high caliber, uh, Radley Walters medal for 5 kills, Steel Wall for all the bounces and that Spartan medal for bouncing a shot when I had less than 10% HP left, only 24 hit points and I bounced that shot so uh, very happy with that. So um, let's have a recap on the key points of this tank. Um, it is an awesome heavy tank, it's just great to play. If you love your heavies, if you enjoy this tank type, you will really enjoy playing this tank, it's brilliant. Um, it's slow, but as you saw in the brawls there, it can handle itself, it is a good brawler. Move around, move forward, create those mobile side scraping opportunities and you will bounce shots. The armor on this thing is a thing of beauty it is the bounce mouse and um, you will just bounce shots all day long as you saw i did there probably over 5k of shots bounced it's an awesome gun it's reliable alpha and the pen really nice great complement to the armor profile it does have a slow reload but as i said the real dpm on this is super compared to the theoretical dpm um, and we've just discussed what that means. So the real DPM is actually really effective on this, as you saw in that game. It is a side scraping beast. Angler up and you will just be brilliant. But please note the rear mounted turret. It requires different type of gameplay. Um, watch the heavy tank guide if you haven't already. Simple tutorial there on side scraping and angling will really benefit you. Um, 
Uh, and if you're not sure how to side scrape, etc., please do watch that. Next up in the series is the mouse play this tank a lot though. The mouse in the little mouse before you get to it, because it's perfect training vehicle for the big mouse, if that's not an oxymoron. So enjoy. Now we have some bonus mousing for you here. There's not gonna be any commentary. I'm just gonna include some gameplay. So if you don't wanna watch it, um, you can log off now. Uh, this is a 5v1 where I sustain absolutely no damage in the mouse. Um, so enjoy, sit back, and uh, let's go mousing. 